What is good everybody, this is E True from Internet Money, and today I'm bringing you guys the highly requested sound design tutorial using Omnisphere. So just to kind of break down my plans just before I get into it, this first video is going to be real basic, I'm not going to be jumping into like any of the samples or like, um, samples of like the patches that they use, I'm going to be using a synth to show you guys how to make a pluck, basically just how to tweak this interface here to make to get you that sound that you want and then I'll probably do a part two where I jump in I'll switch out the synth and I'll use like one of the samples just to make it everything sound better so yeah so yeah getting right into it I have a, a MIDI put in here for my new MIDI kit should be dropping soon or close to the end of the month so be on the lookout for that I also got a drum kit coming out that shit's hard be on the lookout so yeah like I said we're gonna stay using a synth so we're gonna hit the drop down here go to classic waveforms Sawtooth and then the TB303 one. So this is what it sounds like just with me not doing anything to it. So yeah, real shitty, but we're gonna take down, we're gonna tweak it so you can use it as a pluck. So to start with, we're gonna come over here to the envelopes and we're gonna mess with the um, amp. We're gonna leave the filter and mods alone for now. Actually for mods, we can drop all these down because I'm not gonna use any this isn't going to affect anything that we're doing. So for amp, you have the attack, uh, decay, sustain, and release. So the sustain, drop it all the way down. And then the release, we're going to... You can basically lift this to your liking, but I'll play it so you can hear what it does. So yeah, before, if you had it down... So yeah, it basically just like holds the note out a little bit longer, just gives it some more room. If you were to be making a pad, you could just lift that up. That's not what we want. So yeah, we're going to leave that here. So something I also like to do, uh, let me say this too beforehand. I don't consider myself an expert at sound design. A lot of this stuff that I've learned on Atmosphere, basically just trial and error, just kind of playing with shit, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. I don't... So yeah, never mind. We're gonna keep going. So, like I said, we have that, and I'm gonna take this shape bar, and you can hear the difference when I pull it to the right. Once again, to your liking, however you like how it sounds. We're going to drop the analog, we don't need the analog on. That can stay down too. So yeah, now if you click this little, um, it's like the little zoom thing right here, you can open that. And then you have, what is it, seven different options here. I'm not, a, I don't mess with any of this stuff here, anything else, this was all I did on the main, um, the main interface, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play it using all of the seven of them, and then I'll show you the one that I use when I'm making plucks. So you got this. That's just the main one. So it's six options. So this is what I usually use, Unison. I think it sounds a little bit better and I like it. I don't, I've never really used any other ones. This one, Granular, just completely fucks my computer up so we're gonna stay away from it. Harmonia. So we'll stick with the Unison right there. So you can already hear the transformation of how we started to where it is now. So from there, we're gonna jump into the filters. Hit the little drop down right here. And for this one, I'm gonna use a low pass. The best thing to do here is literally just play with all of them, all of them, see which ones you like. I've ran through almost every single one, and the one that I'm gonna use is called Rich and Moogie One. So you turn that on. This uh it's this key tracking knob, turn it all the way down, you can hear the difference. When 
when it's all the way up, it kind of hits a little harsh, so I don't like that. So I'm going to drop that all the way down. We can play with the cutoff. And now we can jump into the, uh, the fi uh, filter envelope, so... Pull the sustain down, and to be honest, I think we can leave it like that. So, I mean, just off the few things that I did right there, you can see the difference between what the sound was like when we started it and where it is now. So, I actually didn't plan on doing this, but I'm gonna actually I'm gonna put some effects on it to to show you what I would do from here to make it sound even better. So, first for a pluck, I'd go to the delay, and I use the time uh, the X3 one. This is my I'll use this on almost all of them. So you get a little bounce to it. Drop the feed back down. And then one other thing I really like to use, I'm giving you guys a sauce on this one. This is what I use on almost everything. We're gonna use the ultra chorus. And I mean, yeah, that's basically it. That's just making like a, how to get that uh, basic pluck sound. And if you wanted to, then you could go into the sample and just completely change it, just make it sound even better. But there'll be a part two to this video. That's exactly what I'll be doing. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. New computers on the way, so expect more uh, type B shit for me coming again. Make sure you like the video, comment, share it. Let me know what you want to see next. So like I said, this is for just plucks. I'll probably jump into like a pad, making keys, things like that. So yeah, I'm out. Later. Sure, sure.